this is probably one of the most exciting appliances that I've encountered since I've been in the building science industry. Oh, that's true. And this is, again, this is not your grandfather's water heater here. This uh, GE Geospring hybrid water heater, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the most efficient water heaters available on the market today. Tell me about this thing. Well, this product is probably the most exciting product that GE has introduced in the past 50 years at Appliance Park in Louisville, Kentucky. This is an American-made Geospring hybrid water heater that is going to save this family approximately $325 per year. Wow. That's incredible because it is an, it's an added component within the makeover project that is reducing their total utility costs. But the neat thing about this is it's doing some other cool things. Um, this is a heat pump, and so a byproduct of this is cool air, right? It's cool air. So, exactly. But it's not just cool air, it's dehumidified air. That is exactly so we have a little right. drain line back here that drains into the, where the washer drains. But the neat part of it is, is the more we tighten a home, the more we have to mitigate moisture. Well, this helps us do that. Right. But in the meantime, it's taking the latent heat out of the house, which is moisture, and heat from perhaps the washer and dryer sure. and putting it in here at a very, very efficient uh, mode. That's right. Now, what we know is that this particular unit is about, what, four and a half to five times more efficient than a standard natural gas or propane water heater, right? That is correct. And, then, is. Uh, and then about uh, two and a half times more efficient than a standard electric water heater. Correct. Well, we know that it has a heat pump that uh, helps that with its efficiency. What are some other things? I know we don't have a gas flue that goes through the roof. What are some of the other things that make this efficient? I'll tell you what's great about this product is that you know there are other hybrid products on the market right now. What's great about this, especially for the family that's here, is that this is easily replaceable from a standard unit. Anybody that has a standard water heater in their home can easily fit this in the same footprint as their old standard water heater. Uh, great feature. One of the other nice energy efficient uh, features on this uh, Geospring hybrid water here, we actually have a vacation mode on this. You can set it in vacation mode while you're out of town for a week, two weeks, what have you, and you can actually set the time for the day before you come back home and to turn on automatically, and then you'll have nice warm water by the time you get back home to take a bath. So this, like the washer and dryer, has some intelligence which lead to the energy efficiency features within this model, right? Yes. Okay, so let's say it's Thanksgiving and the Thomases have company, they have overnight guests, the showers and the bathtubs going and the, the dishwasher and they're using a lot of hot water and uh, what can they do if, say, perhaps they run out of hot water? You know, this happens to me at Thanksgiving because I don't have the Geospring hybrid <laughs> water heater. Uh, you know, we have in-laws come into the house, we have our nieces, our nephews come in and before you know it, all we're getting is cold water in our shower, cold water for our children's bath. Well, with the Geospring, it's so smart, it senses the recovery rate and the refresh rate of the hot water, and it's gonna do that automatically. But even if you feel like you just want that extra added little boost, it has a mode right here that you press for boost. And what that's gonna do is even speed up that recovery rate even faster and heat up the coils inside this unit to really get the water nice and hot. So, unlike standard water heaters, this is a touch pad. There's no knobs to turn, no covers to take off. So one just all. simply walks up here and presses a button that says boost. That is correct. Brent, now you've done something that's very interesting by tying this hybrid water heater in with the geothermal home system, correct? Yes, Chris, I'll tell you, that is absolutely correct. And we have a lot of fun when we do these makeovers. And one of the neat things when we put a geothermal heating and cooling system in, which we're going to talk about during another segment, uh, there's a byproduct from it, and it's called this fancy word, it's called a desuperheater. Well, what does that mean? It's taking the exhaust BTUs out of the house, see, because the air, we're in air conditioning mode now with a geothermal, but it, before those BTUs are taken to the ground, we put those in a neat little water line that comes into the bottom of the water heater. Hmm. So the water that comes into the geospring hybrid is preheated at about 120 degrees, which is what the setting is oh. on the water heater. Oh, that's great. So unless the family uses a, a large amount of water, most of the time the water is being made by the uh, uh, water furnace and vision unit. Hmm. And so um, 
even when it calls, when the family have, have used water and the geospring calls for hot water, it still does it in the heat pump geospring mode. Oh, so great. it's still very efficient. Uh, this unit's been on for about two days. The electric meter's behind me. It's used seven kilowatt hours. And so at 10 cents a kilowatt hour, the last 48 hours, they've spent 70 cents wow. for hot water. It's a very intelligent and very intelligent machine. And very user friendly. Very user friendly. Very good. Thanks a lot. Yeah, let's, move to the, uh, let's move to the dishwasher. Sounds great. Let's take a look. Very good.